Hi everyone, my name is Farah. I'm the content designer here at Herbat. Today I'll be breaking down this collage animation that I made a few weeks ago. And I'm going to bring you step by step on how I made it from the storyboarding all the way to the end product. I worked on this project in Adobe After Effects and Adobe Photoshop. So let's get into it. Before you start, you should have a story. In my case, I had this story written down in a Google document. And if you have a voiceover beforehand, that would be much more better as well. Once you have that idea and story, you could look for references in terms of style. So like what I have here is this, uh, this animation by this talented designer, Kasra Design. I think one of the keys is remember where you came from, keep that shit in the front of your mind and when shit goes bad and it goes sideways, a lot of shit does. You so this is a very good example of what we're trying to go for in our project. Once you have that, you could search for a few more, maybe pictures and other videos. So step number two is to visualize your story. Once you have the idea and the storyline down, you could start drafting how the animation should look like in a storyboard. So I started out uh, by sketching it. I took this notebook, I begin drawing like a, these are three frames. After we get the base down, we move into Photoshop and start designing. What you're seeing on the screen right now is the storyboard. This is like first scene, second scene, third scene and a fourth scene. I've put together like a few cutting of pictures and added some kind of texture to it so it looks like it's from paper. So once you already design these scenes in Photoshop, it'll be much more easier for you to transfer those uh, elements into After Effects and animate them. When you're designing your compositions in Photoshop, bear in mind what kind of animation you're going to do later on. But as long as it's closer to what you envision in the end product, that would be much better for you. Next step is to animate. So I am animating everything in After Effects. As you can see here, I have my compositions. Comp 1 is scene 1, Comp 2 is scene 2, and so forth. One of the ways to make your animation look like a collage is to lower the frame rate. What I did was make an adjustment layer and added this effect called posterize time. And I lowered the settings down to 12 frames per second. So when you add this, it will make your animation less smooth and more janky. Without it, it will look like this much more smoother and much more nicer. So that's what you don't want. Another thing that you can that can help you in your collage animation is by adding textures. What I did was add some paper textures to my shapes. So instead of just putting on one paper texture that looks static, you could find these videos where the paper textures are changing every second. Uh, it will make your animation look much more interesting, just like this. The way to top off your collage animation is to add on a scratch overlay on top of everything. What I did was find like a grain scratches kind of video on YouTube and I just put it on screen blending mode. Although the film scratches are very subtle, they make a huge difference in the end product of your animation. To add some more finesse to your collage animation, what you can do is add sound effects. Here you can see there's like uh, this cash register. So all I did was just add a cash register sound. So sound effects just ties you into the video much more uh, compared to a soundless animation. And it brings a nice touch to it. You could add music to at the end and don't forget a voice recording to tell your story in a much more engaging and exciting way. Alright, so I'm going to share with you guys how to save your favorite restaurants. So high delivery commissions certainly don't help and it will be sad to see our favorite eateries go out of business. So methods that don't harm the restaurant's revenue include using Grab Express, Lala Move, and others. So just order from the restaurant and have the rider pick it up. That's all for now. I hope this video gives you some more insight into paper collage animation. If you want to see more of this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.